Hey, 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 I'm back again today. Like, share, and subscribe. Come on in and catch my vibes. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing today? I'm wonderful. Thanks for asking, as always. How are you guys doing today? You know, it's a new day, new beginning. God has blessed you with, you know. So, um, yeah, let me get my prayer in, and I'm going to get on started. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. Blessing has been prepared to take anything unclean out of it and give it nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all, I'm still I'm on grandma duty. I'm watching the kids until she all in, get her, she'll, uh, her, her, her daycare situation situated or what have you not. You know, I'm, I'm off again, you know, until I go back uh, to see the specialist and stuff, uh, at least till August the 3rd. So, yeah. I'm at home again, y'all. So, uh, but I'm I'm watching kids all day. So my my, my schedule is still, uh, you know, <laughs> I gotta make it do what I do. You know, they over there sitting down. You hear the TV in the background. That's what it is. I got it on the program. You no, know, I got it. I fed them, gave them a bath, and all that good, wonderful stuff. You know, hopefully they're gonna do like I asked them to. Okay. So I don't try to be before you long. But I, today I got me some roasted potatoes. With some Brussels sprouts and cheese. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's all. You know, my husband came in for lunch and did he did do my lights and stuff. But I don't know how it's going to look. And I really don't care at this time. You know, I'm just ready to get it in. I'm hungry. And listen here. Eating good. I was watching. Let's not play on the couch. I done told you. We don't stand up on the couch. Sit down and watch TV. Okay? Yeah. And so, uh... I seen you eating good. You said I ain't commented, but I did watch a video where you was talking about uh, you missing the meat. I seen that video. Uh, I just ain't commented yet. Sometimes I do that. I'll comment and then I, I get distracted. And so uh, I forget. But then when I go to watch videos, I'll be like, okay, I already watched that. And then I have to play it again to, to kind of, you know, get that memory of what, what it was about. And I'm like, okay, I can make, do my little comments. But I, mean, I do that quite often, y'all. Uh, yeah. But anyway, um, I'm back. Uh, yesterday, I did that video of telling my story, and I forgot to name my person um, to tell their story. You know what I'm saying? So, Cajun Flames, I see you getting back up in here and everything, and you getting in, and you getting into these challenges and what have you now. So, I give you, I, um, um, we were supposed to tell a person, you ask the person or what have you not, and I'm asking you to share your story, Cajun Flames. I'm going to put that down in the description box, and I hope that you'll do this challenge with us. That's the Fabulous Five. Let me get them out the way. That's that Jazzy V who created the challenge. Um, that's Evangelist World, that Hood Girl 2, Eating Good, and, of course, me kicking it with Lynn, last but not least. All right? All righty. So, uh, you know, I'm talking yesterday. I, you know, I had to go over and watch my video over again. You know, I watch my videos, you know, because I want to see me, you know, see what I'm, you know, saying or doing or what have you not. Yeah, I left out a lot of details, y'all, because I just didn't want to go there. Look at these kids put everything. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, y'all got the gist of it. You know, going back and forth here and there. The, you know, abuse and all that good, wonderful stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really going to harp on it. I might touch a little bit of bases on it or what have you now. And I just, you know, just to say this, I just really like to share my story, you know, when I'm seeing other women doing things and going through things with men that they don't have to go through. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and to, to prevent somebody from staying in a long-term relationship, you know, and get get out sooner rather than later than wasting all that time with somebody. I mean, I guess, I, you know, some will say it wasn't a waste a year because, uh, you know, you go through what you go through and everything is a lesson. You know what I'm saying? You learn something from everything that you do in life. You know what I'm saying? So in God's timing, everything always happens the way it's supposed to. But today... But God, when I said but God, I didn't get to the other part because, you know, I have a wonderful, beautiful husband today who uh, loves and adores me. And, you know, when he watched this video, he see me because, you know, y'all mentioned him. And he'd be like, why you got to be mentioning me? Listen here, my husband is one of them people. Like, we have conversations, y'all. And we'll be talking about why, you know, you know, the people that like the thug and all that stuff. Why they got to be doing some of the stuff they do. And he said everybody want to try to prove how hard they are. So, I'm going to say that as to, uh, you know, when I'm talking about him and I'm saying something wonderful and great that he does for me, you know, he don't want people to see that side of him, you know, because he want everybody to think he's so hardcore, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not no loving husband. I don't, I won't say, you know, that, maybe not that deep, but, you know what I'm saying? You know, just keep it to yourself. He that type of person. He's very private, you know what I'm saying? I get that and I understand that. But listen here, 
If I got a wonderful husband that treats me like a queen every day, I'm going to tell it. Because somebody needs to hear it. So they're saying, I don't need me one of them. Okay? We all deserve one. We deserve our kings and queens in life. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't going to get to them if you stay in mess. You deal with stuff that you don't have to. Because you have options to get out. Women, you got, you got a lot of help out there. So, you know. You go through something, you go through something. You know what I'm saying? You take your kids through stuff. You know. You just have to wonder what is it that you're showing them. Y'all. Mm, 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 mm. I can't stress it enough. I've been eating this. Listen, since I've been eating them potatoes, and I watched D diet. She was talking about how she eat potatoes every day. And I love potatoes, y'all. I mean, like, literally, if I could eat potatoes every day and uh, lose weight and be healthy or what have you not, um, I would. But I've been reading up on it, and they said potatoes got a bad rap. You know, and when I put it into my, um, my Fitness Pal app, you know, when I'm tracking my calories and everything... It says uh, potatoes is lower in saturated fat, so, and I cook it. I cook it in olive oil. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I'ma see. I, I still feel good. I feel great, y'all. Am I missing meat? Only when I have to cook a meal for my husband. That you know, with some meat. Listen, the other day he told me he wanted a cheeseburger. He wanted some bacon and all this. I told him, listen here, I can't be cooking no meat. I ain't going to be able to cook y'all no meat. But I got up today and I cooked these kids some um, sausage. I put it on my grill. I cooked them some beef sausage and, you know, some breakfast. Or lunch, whatever you want to call it. Because these, these kids will sleep till 11, 12 o'clock. But they ain't on no schedule. You know, they go to bed when they go to bed. I be trying to get them on the schedule, but it's hard to get them on the schedule when, you know, their mama ain't trying to get them on no schedule. You know, so, you know, she the one got to deal with it on a long-term basis. I don't, you know what I'm saying? So, it just makes my day, for me, it makes my day a little different, you know, when they have, when they if they get up a little later and I want to get my videos together and get out and they up, like they over there sitting down being quiet now. You know, watching TV, but you know, how long will that last? But anyway, oh, this is good. Did I say Brussels sprouts with cheese on it? Oh man, oh, I was talking about me missing meat. Yes, I kind of sort I want to eat some meat, you know what I'm saying? And I thought about my husband said. Why don't you just eat me once after we could end or what have you now? And I was like, I don't know. We'll see. Really trying to stay the course, you know what I'm saying? But yes, I do want some. I kind of sore though, you know what I'm saying? I kind of, I'm loving the way that I'm feeling. So, you know, if I don't see no meat, I don't want no meat. When I'm watching y'all's videos and y'all got all that wonderful goodness, I'm sitting there like, look, mmm. Mouth just wide for steak or some crab legs or some fish or something. Chicken. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? But what I do find is I really stay hungry. I be, I'm thinking that maybe I should, I don't know if it's because I, you know, I, I guess I, you know, five, four, five hours later, I'll be ready to eat. But after a couple hours, I find myself thinking I could eat something. So, you know, and yeah, I'm exercising too, y'all, so. Yesterday I did 30 minutes. I try to go up an extra five minutes every day or a couple minutes. You know, if I do 20 minutes on this machine today, then I'll do 25 or 20. I'll just add an extra few minutes. But anyway, let me get back to, um, you know, a lot of women out here, they're going from these men. And I'm just saying I'm going to speak on it because going from these relationships to these relationships or whatever, they're looking for in the men what they didn't get in their fathers and you just ain't gonna never find it if you continue to do that you know what i'm saying and then you have to look at the type of father that was absent from your life what type of father is he and was he in your life you know what i'm saying and are those the type of men you attracted to men like your father you know what i'm saying because listen here sometimes you know they're saying you gotta or get off the pot 
Listen, baby, all the things that I've been through in my life, I just had to get over. Get to, I had to get over not having my mother and my father in my life. I had to get over all of that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I can't sit around here and worry about my parents didn't uh, uh, step up to the plate and do what they needed to do for me. I'm not going to let that hinder me or stop my life. Or I'm not going to let people tell me that I got these issues. Or You know what I'm saying? Because of it. I mean, maybe uh, a little bit, but I, I can't really say I missed out. I guess I felt I feel like they did the best they could do for me by leaving me by, with two responsible parents who loved me dearly and, and, and gave me a wonderful life. Okay? I didn't miss out on nothing other than having them in my life. You know? But, um... You know, it's crunch time. It's crunch time for you women out here with children, single women, out here with with, 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 with kids. You got to get it together. You got to do you. Do you know what I'm saying? You can't be sitting around here waiting, uh, uh, looking for Boaz and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Running from this person in here. You, your Boaz ain't coming till you get you together, okay? Let's just, just, just call a thing a thing. He ain't coming. He ain't looking. He ain't, you know what I'm saying? God ain't even sending him your way because you ain't got your, you, your whole situation ain't right. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got you together and you ain't doing, you know what it is that you need to be doing in life, your boy ass ain't on the way. He going to be on the way when God sends him on the way. When God says, okay, now my, my, my daughter here, or, you know, she's in a position now to wear ass. I'm finna uh, set up this meeting. And sometimes, you know, you just don't get no Boaz because some people just was meant to be by themselves. You know what I'm saying? We have to be content with ourselves and who we are. Half of these, um, I don't know, I don't know, y'all. This is so good, that's what I know. Mm. And you men out here, if you ain't, you know, listen here, be real men about yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you know you ain't gonna be about nothing to a woman, and you know you ain't gonna spend no long, t uh, 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 you ain't trying to be in no long term relationship with her, you know, be straight up off the hot. You know, tell, call a thing a thing. You know what I'm saying? You're not the woman that I'm, I'm gonna spend my life with, but you know, I I enjoy the friendship with benefits. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of women today that's out here uh, getting with you guys, they're thinking that y'all wanna be with them, and that y'all gonna be they, uh, you know. Super saver person, you know what I'm saying? They think y'all they savior, you know. You, they think y'all they prince charming. Then rode in on this white horse, then y'all finna just uh, change their whole world around. Let them know that you're not that person. You know what I'm saying? Keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? So they can uh, either enjoy uh, the friendship with the benefits and knowing in the back of their head, okay, that you know, or whatever. They can get about their business. <laughs> if you know you ain't gonna be a. a, a a family man and and and, and coming there and do the right things, you know. Be real, you know what I'm saying. Move on. Don't even waste your time. Don't waste their time, especially if they got some kids. You know what I'm saying. They trying to get their life, you know, and, and raise these kids. And if you ain't gonna be nobody positive in their life, and you ain't gonna honestly be there to help, get out the way. Do that. I said I wasn't gonna eat all this, but y'all know what? I just I'm so hungry, and this is my first time eating today. I am. I'm just saying, y'all. Cause you know, we 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 in a pandemic. The world's got some stuff going on, and I'm really thinking right now. Well, why would you, you know? It, it, right now, really ain't the time to be trying to be with nobody if you ain't got nobody already. <laughs> y'all feel me? You know. Maybe this is your time to take some time for you and, and, and reevaluate yourself. You know what I'm saying? People out here moving around here. The pandemic, the COVID-19 is on the rise. You know, more people uh, uh, are getting sick and dying and what have you not. People ain't taking it seriously. And listen here, I got the people who have people around me that's going to take this thing serious like I'm taking it serious. If you ain't going to take it serious around me, you know, we can't be around each other. And that's just period, point blank, and poo. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm not exposing myself. So I, why should I allow anybody else to expose me to something by, by, by them walking? I'm just saying, you know, that not practicing safety, you know, where it needs to be. No. I'm probably going to be all over the place today for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Because I had a couple topics on my mind, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, I wanted to talk, I wanted, really was going to talk about some stuff that grinds my gears. And I have quite a few of those. Y'all see me looking at y'all. And one of the things that grinds my gears is... I'm going to say that for another topic. But, you now there's so much going on. It's just too much going on. It's just not, this is not no time to be sitting around here partying and having no fun and nothing like that. This is the time to get your left together and get the message that God is trying to send out. You know, with this pandemic that we got going on. What is he talking to you about? How is he trying to get your attention? You know what I'm saying? You know, quit ignoring him. Because he's speaking to you. You know what I'm saying? People, you know, you, you out here, you're just moving around in these streets foul. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crunch time. I'm just saying, you know how there's that people, Jehovah Witnesses, you know, knock on your door and they ask if, you, if, if, if you, Jehovah, if he was to return today, would you be ready? Do you know, where are you going? Where are you going? You going to heaven or you going to that hell? I'm just asking y'all. You know, each day is a new day to do better and to get it right. But listen here, let me say this too about my video here so that cause I kind of find myself moving around. I don't have low self-esteem. We never did. And I did take a little bit of a, some, you know, not a little bit, a lot of uh, some, some, uh, some abuse or what have you not. But listen here, baby, I gave some, I abused too. And when that, when I was being abused, I gave it back to them. You, you, you hear me? I got to the point where they thought I was nuts. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I had civilians saying, she crazy. Yeah. I got to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because if I don't be crazy and show these people that I'm crazy, you know what I'm saying? They're going to keep on trying to test my gangster. I'm, I'm not. I'm still here. I'm still standing. So anything that anybody ever did to try to break me, it didn't work. You can't keep a good woman down. That's what I'm saying, y'all. <laughs> You know, and I was saying, I was talking about, I don't want to get on here on this platform and divulge all of my little stuff or what have you not, because, you know, I do still have a job. Hope, you know, when I go, you know, go back to work, what have you not. And, you know, if I'm on here on this YouTube and I'm talking about, oh, I done did this, I done did that, or I was this way, or I was that way, you know, you know, all that stuff counts. You know, you, they, they tell y'all to be careful what you put on social media. You know, people can look you up or whatever they want to. You know what I'm saying? What you find out is what you're going to find out. But you ain't going to, what, what you might find out ain't going to be on there about what I did. Okay? Let's just keep that, I'm just keeping that above. You know, Jazzy V, I appreciate you, and I thank you for um, the kind uh, comments that you left me or whatever. You know, saying that you're not. I don't today. I don't really worry about nobody judging me, but I'm just not. No, I'm just not gonna give anybody anything to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Not gonna give much uh, 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 room uh, uh, authority for the devil to come in and and stir up some stuff. I'm just not going to go there. You know what I'm saying? And they say when you know better, you do better. Some people don't. They still in their mess and they still around here, moving around here, foul as ever. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't never get it. And they ain't going to never get it because, uh, you know, they destruction. They, they're going to have to really heat meet destruction before they get it. You know what I'm saying? God can send all kind of signs and warnings your way. You know what I'm saying? He can pick you up and pull you out of all kind of stuff. But listen here. When he do that and you continue to still be a mess and be a mess, the only thing that you're going to understand is a devastation. Okay? A devastation is coming your way. And it's going to have to be a devastation because everything else that he's trying to do to get our attention, you know, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's just not working. You know what I'm saying? You know, trouble comes. Uh-oh. I'm so sorry, y'all. Trouble comes, things come, so that that's God trying to get our attention to draw us closer to him. I told y'all this in one of my videos. I don't know which one it was. To try to get our attention, you know what I'm saying? And when you keep ignoring him, just like, you know, people are called to, to the church or what have you not. Okay, they keep ignoring the call. You know, I'm going to stay out here in the world a little bit longer and I'm going to party, you know, and I'm going to do my thing. I'm, gonna, You know what I'm saying? God will get your attention however he get it. He's going to do what he's going to do to get it. You don't ever think you can't never get away from it. You can't run and you can't hide. He sees and knows all. You know what I'm saying? And he know what it's going to take to make you stop. Yeah. 
For real. He know. So test him if you want to. Continue to test him. You know, people people always want to see how far they can go and how far they can take anything. Listen here. Keep doing that. And see how far it gets you. I want our little place. Hey, 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 hey. Did I not tell y'all I was making a video and I wanted y'all to be quiet and watch this here? Uh, uh, you want me to turn the TV off? Okay. And didn't I tell you to uh, didn't I tell you to quit playing? Wait a minute, I'm talking. I'm talking. Didn't I tell y'all to stop playing on my sofa? So you want me to get my little pot my little paddle? Okay, then do as I told you, okay? Don't make me get up at this chair. I'm almost done. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <sighs> listen here, and that Lynn Shell, if she watching this video, listen here, Lynn Shell. Y'all, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with y'all about my grandkids. I'm going to be honest as I, 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 I ain't going to sugarcoat it. All my grandkids is off the chain. Every last one of them. They off the chain. They off the chain because their parents let them be off the chain. They disrespectful. They talk back. They whine. They complain. They, be, you know, they want this and that and they don't do nothing. I'm just saying. I'm saying that to say that and when I say disrespectful, I mean that as far as, you know, there's some of the stuff that we, 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 we wouldn't dare uh, say or question our parents, they do that. You know, things that we can probably get, you know, get our, our teeth knocked out about, they don't get that, y'all. You know, these kids today, they can question their parents, they can tell their parents what to do and what it is, some of them. And listen here. I ain't cut like that and I ain't built like that. I never have been and never will be. I mean, teach his own. You know what I'm saying? They can raise the kids to have the way they want to, but you know what I'm saying? I didn't raise my kids to talk back to me or to be questioning nothing that I had to say about how I choose to run my home or how I choose to, uh, uh, when I say no, I mean no. I don't owe you no explanation. I said no. If I want to explain it to you, you know I can. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I may do. But, you know, a, a, a lot of times these kids today, you know, you they ask you, can I go to so-and-so? Can I go to such and such place? You tell them no. Why? You don't owe them no explanation. Because you said, you said, my what you know my parents, you said, because I said so. Well, why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? You know what I'm saying? They just, ooh. But you know, this is new generation. You know, these all not just my kids raising their kids. This whole generation is like this. The uh, uh, of their era of kids coming up. They all like that. They sit and listen here. Let me tell y'all. Ain't no way in heaven's hell. Oh no. Uh, 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 ain't no. Ain't no. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me, let me rephrase that. Ain't no way on God's green earth would I have ever allowed my kids to be in my home. Playing the kind of music these kids listen to today. They, I just wouldn't have it. You ain't going to be a sitting up here with all these cuss words. cuss, And they be saying the words to the songs, y'all. I don't know. I'm talking about her kids and everybody else's kids. And they all do it. I'm not singling nobody out. They all do it. You know what I'm saying? They all let their kids watch all these gangster movies with all this cussing and sex in it and all that other stuff. And then you wonder why your kids is off the chain. You know what I'm saying? Probably because you let them watch and, and, and sing and do any old, uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You just can't do that. That's the devil coming in. You know what I'm saying? You letting them see all this stuff that, you know what I'm saying, that they see on TV that they think is real. So they want to copy, imitate it or what have you. Now, that stuff ain't real. You know what I'm saying? In real life, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a gangster gangsters doing real gangster stuff they ain't talking about it they ain't telling you about it you know what i'm saying they just doing it this stuff you see on tv is for tv it's for show now i might you know it might happen you know they they they, they just taking it they just assuming that it is going on like this and like that or what have you not you know what i'm saying some of them can kind of be you know what i'm saying but listen here these kids they take stuff too far these kids today, you know, they'll walk in your house and won't even speak. Mm-hmm. 
You know, you know, we just wasn't raised like that. They don't train their kids to uh, walk in other people's house and speak to them. Stuff. They walk right past you and just look at you like they don't know who the heck you are. I, I'm being serious. I have low tolerance for disrespectful people, kids and all. I don't. I just. just uh, Y'all see me? It grinds my gears. I'll knock me one out. Y'all, y'all know what? Out of all three, come on, come on. Let's get off him. Out of all three of my kids, I probably have to say my youngest boy probably more so like me because he don't, he don't, he don't, he don't really tolerate. You ain't gonna be talking back to him, and you ain't gonna be telling him what it is. He's gonna be telling you what it is. You know what I'm saying? If you if if you can't do something, you can't do something. You know what I'm saying? But them other two, they go around the corner and come back with their kids. I mean, they can do how they they can do with their kids how they want to. I'm just saying, y'all. Not just them, but they generation of people they in their age group raising their kids. Now with them, they all like that, and then they wonder why these kids is out here. Doing what they doing. Hey, hey, what is come here? What's the problem? Come here. See, I'm finna show y'all. Prime example. Come here. I don't, why do I have to keep asking you something twice? If I get up, I'm gonna be upset. Come here right now. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what this is the this is the, the, the type of stuff that you have to deal with with the kids of this generation right here. Now they don't listen. You know what I'm saying? They think you be playing with them. Why do I have to keep talking to y'all over and over again? I'm gonna cut this video off, y'all. Listen here. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this video with anybody and everybody, and let them know what your girl is over here doing, y'all. Until the next time, y'all. Later.